Hi everyone, today we're in Hershey, PA at the AACA Fall Meet looking at a 1985 Oldsmobile Toronado Caliente. Uh, this car is magnificent. I've seen this car before at other AACA events and it's a car that uh, it's hard to forget. Um, we have Bob here who's the owner. Hey Bob, how you doing? thank you for showing us your car. Thank you for giving us your time. Um, I've seen this car, like I said, uh, at other AACA events and it really sticks out to me. Um, the color combination, the condition. I know it's a, a Caliente, which is a pretty rare yes, it, upgrade. It is. Very rare. That's about a $2,000 upgrade. Out of 42,000 units, they only made 7,200 in Caliente. Really? Yeah, so very, very rare. How many of them do we even know are in, the, in this combination? That's an excellent question because we know a lot of them are probably in junkyards. Yeah. And I have to admit, in my travels throughout the United States to car shows, I really have seen very few. I've This is the only one I've seen at car shows, and I've been to a lot of shows. And I know that Caliente is a special car. You've got these uh, spoked wheel covers that have locks on them, which are really neat. They stick out, actually, a little bit from the car. That, that was all the rage back in the day, wasn't it? It was. And you've got this trim, the stainless trim along the side? Yes. Now, that came from the factory. Okay. But I'm sure the dealer was the one that put the pinstriping on. Yeah. you got a lot of nice detail here. Yeah, and a lot of nice detail. No doubt about it. It really looks nice with the interior. And this uh, stainless trim here, is that a Caliente uh, emblem or is that a that, Tornado? Well, that's a Tornado emblem. Okay. And what this is is a small band of stainless steel. If you compare this against an equivalent Cadillac Eldorado Barretts, yes, then I can, I think it's all the way from here to yes. here in stainless steel. So this is an equivalent to a Barretts, but with the uh, but with an extension of yeah. stainless all the way on up. And you've got the moon roof, which is really nice. They're definitely, definitely, and that's rare, rare item. Yeah, this car is really nice. Folks, like I said, we're at Hershey. There's a lot of cars moving around. Um, Bob, actually, I seen this car earlier today, and I kept coming back to it four or five times, hoping to catch up with you. And it wasn't until the end of the day that you actually came back to your car, and I'm able to talk to you about it again. And, uh, of course, at the end of the day, we've got everybody pulling out and moving, so you're going to hear some uh, exhaust in the background. Right. Um, so I always like the, the front of the Tornado, which was unique. The stainless. That's here. that's unique. Uh, if this was not a uh, Caliente, you would not have this. So only the Calientes have that trim. Only the Calientes have that. It's a little stainless steel. A little detail on the yeah. hood ornament with the pinstripe. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. And the other thing I want to point out: this pinstripe. Look at what they did. It comes all the way down here, grows around the front, and then of course when you go to the other side, you'll see it continue right on down. And the same thing happens on the trunk. With the pinstriper. They followed the body lines. They followed the body lines. It, it was very, very well done. Yeah, this is a uh, AACA Senior Grand National car. So uh, it's been checked and judged, and it is correct. And it is beautiful. I notice you have these turn oh. signals at the top of the fender. Uh, yes. And let me, can I just say one thing? Sure. Is that I've had a lot of collector cars in my life. Yeah. And... I have never, when I started this in September of 2018 here, I got a junior first coming out of the gate, national uh, national judging. They liked the car. Uh -huh. They gave me an invitation to get into the final round, which I did. I submitted all the paperwork. I ended up not making the grade. But in 2019, when I got a senior here at Hershey at the regional level, National judging again approached me. They didn't approach me. They sent me a letter, uh -huh. and I did. I complied with their request, and uh, I sent everything into them. And again, I failed. Uh, well, it's not really a failure. I know no, what you're talking about. It's an honor. It it's, really is an it's honor. It's basically an Academy Award nomination. Exactly. So I, I'm very honored by what they yes. did, and I've had. Uh, so you know, that was great. Then we had COVID. And so in 2021, uh, Hirsch AACA uh, was having a difficult time having shows as well as any yeah. other uh, car club. Yeah. And so uh, what they did is they made a great arrangements down in Gettysburg 
at a, I call it a gated compound. And they had the Grand Nationals in August of 2021. So I took the car for getting its first. And believe it or not, the car broke down two miles away. It needed a new alternator. Yeah. And so I, we were able, I had a guy that was able to jerry rig it so I could get it over to the grounds, go through the judging. And then on a Sunday morning, he had a new alternator and we installed it and I was able to go home. Tell the folks how many miles are on this. Uh, there was about 12,300 miles yes. on this car. I bought this car in 2018 with uh, 7,200 miles on it. Yeah, I remember seeing this car shortly after you bought it when the alternator went on it. And it's stuck in my mind how nice it was ever since. So um, I remember the car. I remember the day you were telling me that story. Um, folks, you got to drive the cars. You can't let them sit. You can't. No. They, they need to be driven. You got to wake them up, get the fluids flowing, get the electricity flowing through the lines. Use the cars. That's what they're meant for. Rob, I just love the lines of this. This is a, it was a little controversial when it came out because it was such a departure from the previous generation, which was massive. I know. It was. It was a slimmed down, more crisp looking car. Um, I like it. And let me just say something. Sure. There were three generations of Toronados. Okay. And this is the third generation going from uh, 1979 to 1985. Yes. And, uh, and then when Olds quit making it at the end of 1985, it, then it became the Trofeo. Okay. So the Caliente uh, was before the Trofeo then? Yes. Yes. And that was simply a more luxurious model on the Toronado base. I noticed the trim at the bottom of your deck lid here. Is that oh, uh, yeah. that was done by, by the dealer? Okay. Burjek out of uh, Massachusetts. Out of Massachusetts. You got the Toronado cover. Does that yes. go up? Okay. Yeah. Can we pop the uh, trunk? Sure. I know you've got some paperwork in here to show us. Yeah. So, starting on the left hand side, we have the MSRP on the car. Folks, you can pause this if you'd like just to uh, read some of this information. And this car sold MSRP of $23,000. Wow. Pretty expensive back then, but yes. cheap by today's standards. The next sheet is a history on this car and the Baracek family. Okay. Baracek was an Olds dealership up in Needham, Massachusetts that started in 1951, 1952. And, uh, the, uh, father had three sons and the three sons, one headed up marketing, the other headed up service and the other headed up parts. Then the next, uh, uh, photo you're looking at here is pre-delivery inspection procedure yep. that you had to go through. And then this on here is the bill sheet on the car. Okay. Which is uh, very interesting. Very nice. And then the last sheet is the Oldsmobile pre-delivery procedure. This car was not sold to a retail buyer. The Verachek family put it into their own collection of 30 Oldsmobiles. And they were well known for drag racing. Now, obviously not this Tornado, but 442s and W30s yeah. on a cutlass platform. So they got a history with performance cars. Yes. And, and now luxury, beautiful luxury cars. And to add to it further, if you've ever heard of the Smothers Brothers, a comedian. Yep. Comedians. Uh, the the, uh, Bel or the uh, Smothers Brothers teamed up with Belichick and they went into drag racing using W30s and 442s. Okay. And uh, I think they controlled about 25% of the New England market on high performance. And it's really interesting. The father, one son who was in marketing, was in the Air Force, and what he did is he would send GM order for. Do oh, you want the sofa? No, we're going to go and look in the interior whenever you're, oh, whenever you're ready. Sure. So go ahead. Uh, and so he would send order forms down for his son to fill in uh -huh. to order new 442s and W30s. And then the son, and this is down in Texas, the son would then mail them in to GM. I don't know, maybe in Detroit. I, I don't know where the mail-in was for old. What's really interesting about this car is the calf skin inserts, very yeah. rare in the leather yeah. interior. This is what I wanted to focus on, this interior. This is a calf skin. It's very, very soft. Very soft. Uh, 
I am touching it. I have what they call uh, owner's permission. <laughs> um, a lot of people don't like it when I touch the car. Well. I ask before I do anything. But this car is a special car. It's got That's a movie. very special car. It's got pretty much every option available. But it definitely. It has every option. As a matter of fact, the MSRP on this car, brand new, was $23,000. Is that the, I guess that's a uh, optional steering wheel, like a sport wheel, right? Yeah, it's sort of like a sport wheel. I, I don't believe that. I think it came part of the Caliente package, which is not really a sport package. It's a luxury pa package. But that steering wheel looks very sport-like. Yeah, I love the seats. We're all familiar with the... Uh, I guess you could say the Brit style padded seats, but how many people have seen the calf skin inserts yeah. with the leather? I've never seen it, only on this car. And by the way, this is Ole's answer to Cadillac's, uh, Cadillac's Barrett's. Barrett's. And the main, well, one of the big differences is on Oldsmobile, you have a very little stainless steel on the roof, yeah. whereas on the Cadillac Eldorado Barrett's, at least uh, two thirds of the roof is stainless steel. You got an armrest back there, right? Yes, sir. That uh, emblem, that Tornado emblem, does that do anything? Is that a speaker in the center there, or is that just for decoration? I think it's for decoration. Okay. Definitely. Love the seats. And take a look at the lights up there. It says Tornado, you know? Oh, okay. Uh, it's just a little courtesy everything. And the map light, too. Is. You have a map light in the back as well. Yes. On the yes. Look at that. And look at this door. Look how clean and nice this door panel is. Our seats. Memory. I didn't realize you had memory on this. Yeah, you have memory on it. Yep. Yeah. And I just drove this car 240 miles from where I live, going through the back roads of Pennsylvania, going through hills and curves. And I got to tell you something. It's got all the creature comforts. Drive After beautiful. five and a half hours of driving, I was still rested. Can you start it up for us? We'll sure. take a look at that dash. I know uh, we all remember the digital dash. They were all the rage when they first came out. This has the digital dash. Look at this. Who remembers that? That's really cool. This uh, plastic wood veneer looks perfect. No wear at all. No wear at all. And really, other than the drivers, I, there hasn't been a, any passengers. Do you put a cover on the wheel? Because the wheel no. is, is perfect. I, I have not. No, I have yeah. not. And the stereo is what, a Bose? System? A Bose. Very excellent. And it, how it goes through the whole sound system in the and car. That was, it's it, like being in your living room. That was an option by Oldsmobile? Yes, it was. It's that available? was almost a $900 option. Hey, look at the speaker surrounds down there. It just protrudes out like that, formed to the door panel. It's beautiful in here. This, these seats are really, uh, really amazing. They are. Yeah. And you got the slider. goes yep. back and forth so you can uh, see the glass. Do you want me to roll that back? Or? No. Yeah, you can if you want to. Sure. Let me roll Good it call. back. I, I, I had it We back. want to look at all the options in this. All right. I'll go ahead. There you go. Factory moon roof. Yeah. Now you got vanity mirror on the passenger side yes, as well? Yes, both sides. Both sides. Oh, not on the driver. It wasn't on, on the driver? No, but on the passenger we have it. I, I'm pretty sure we have it on the passenger. Yeah, I can you see You want it. me to put it down? If you'd like, it's on you. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. That is so cool. You got the map lights up there too on the uh, the roof. Really nice interior. Yeah, I seen this car in Gettysburg about five years ago. No, I think it was two years ago. Was it? Twenty twenty one. I was down there twice. Well, I was there But twice. it was the Grand National, I think I saw saw you. Well, it left an impression on me. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad I caught up with you here at Hershey. Can we take a look at the engine? Yes. I, can I turn it off? Yeah, you can shut it off. That's 
far as the engine goes, this is a standard old 350? That's right. Just highly detailed. 12,000 miles now? 38-year-old car. We have 12,300 miles. Front-wheel drive. Yep, front-wheel drive. Beautiful and clean. Very pretty car. So there you have it, 1985 Olds Toronado Caliente, white, white Landau top, uh, white Landau top rather. It's got the tan, almost cream color, calfskin and leather interior, yep. uh, fully loaded moonroof, absolutely amazing car. Folks, tell me what you think of this Toronado. Leave your comments below, definitely subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you, Bob. Thank you very much. Catch you soon. Have a good day.